The asset turnover ratio is used to assess a whether the company can pay their bills currently due with their existing cash and receivables, b whether the company can borrow money from the bank, c whether the company is using its assets effectively in generating sales revenues. The answer is c. The formula for asset turnover ratio is sales or operating revenues divided by average total assets. The higher the number, the lower the amount of assets required to generate the same amount of revenue. The lower the number, the lower the ratio, that is, the greater amount of assets required to generate the same amount of revenue. Think of it this way. Would you prefer to be generating $1 million worth of revenue from the inside of your garage or through six stores set up all over Gainesville? If you're generating that much money out of your garage, that much revenue out of your garage, you're using your assets extremely effectively. Let's move on to another question. If Papa John's reports an asset turnover ratio of 2.57 for 2003 and their competitor Domino's reports 2.89 for their 2003 ratio, it means that Papa John's A is better able to pay their current obligations with their current assets, B has been more effective in managing the use and level of its assets, C has been less effective in managing the use and level of its assets. D is less able to pay off their current obligations with the current assets. The correct answer is C. Now remember the asset turnover ratio, sales or operating revenues over average total assets. C is the correct answer because Papa John's requires more assets to produce the same amount of revenue as Domino's. That's to say that Domino's is more efficient at generating revenues.